Good morning, Quadcopter 101, and I have something really neat for you today. Um, it's not this one in the center. This is the Furry BF90, which I kind of really do like. But these little things, these little things, they're much smaller than the Furry Bee. You think the Furry Bee is small? Look at these things. These are Maker Fire Micro FPV indoor quadcopters. I will be flying them outdoor, though. <laughs> these are uh, actually a very good competitor to the Tiny Whoop. I think, in my opinion, um, they're about that size. They're very small. Um, they are powered by little 200 milliamp per hour uh, batteries on the bottom here. Um, it includes F3 Evo flight control board and a 48 channel 600 TVL FPV camera. So, all in all, you know, this should work very well. And I have flown both of these quite a bit indoors. I have been, in, I got some hair on it from the dog. <laughs> I guess I'll be using this one today. Uh, but uh, yeah, they they do fly well indoors, especially be careful if you got a dog because that can get uh, bound up in the blades of these things. We'll fly this one today then. <laughs> but um, yeah, a very, very stable little flyer. Um, there are some idiosyncrasies to it though. Uh, this is the DSM-2 version. I believe it's also available in FreeSky, and I'm not sure if it's also available in FlySky, but um, it does have a USB port right there that you can modify the uh, flight configuration software on it. Uh, there is another thing that you need to know about this. Underneath it, there is a tiny little button right in this hole here. And when you first bind this quadcopter, at least for the DSM-2 version, you need to hold that button down while simultaneously plugging in the battery to get this to enter into bind mode. Um, that, you know, that's the one thing I kind of don't like because it was difficult as heck. Um, it helps if you got another someone to help you to do such. But um, it can be done single-handedly. I did it. And uh, the way I did it was I removed the battery and I took a straw and I pushed that button and I plug the other button in with one hand. It, it was difficult as heck, but it can be done. And once it enters bind mode, it's very simple to bind it to a DSM-2 uh, uh, transmitter by just simply pressing the bind button and it will enter into bind mode. And what do we got here? We got a bunch of snow geese going overhead. Let's let them go by. <laughs> it's snow geese season. They're in the area. Maybe they'll land here and I can fly, buzz, the, buzz them with this little quadcopter. Actually, maybe they will land here. But anyways, let's get back to the quadcopter. Um, now, to get this properly set up and to get it to arm, uh, there were some idiosyncrasies in the setting of clean flight. By the way, this comes loaded with beta flight, I think 3.0.1, uh, but you can modify it also with clean flight. Um, they're interchangeable. Um, it's just beta flight has some extra features that this doesn't have. But for flying these micro FPVs, clean flight's more than sufficient to program them. And there are some idiosyncrasies, like I said, in, in um, setting this up in clean flight. And I'll include the clean flight screens that I, the way I have this set up uh, for a DSM-2 uh, receiver version. Um, it may be different for uh, FreeSky and others, so keep that in mind, folks. But for DSM-2, this should be helpful in those that have DSM-2 version uh, transmitters in getting this to fly. So let's go for a fly of this little thing and see how it performs. Hope you enjoy this flight. But let's get the battery connected. And I have you. Put the goggles on. Now, I had gone into clean flight and modified this so that I have uh, position one is uh, angle, middle is horizon, and bottom is acro. And I've also armed it uh, using this switch here. So that's been modified in clean flight. And I'll show those positions at the end of this video. But to bind this, you turn the quadcopter on, and actually it just should automatically bind every time as compared to some others. And this one does. And I hit switch arm to arm. And actually, I like to move this. Uh, pitch and roll stick, but it's to arm and we should be good to go. So let's go for a flight of the little maker fire and see how it performs. Now I have this set up for indoor flying mainly. So this thing is very, very stable, very gentle flyer, but I'm going a little bit far away. <laughs> now I'm going to try to keep it close for the remainder of the flight because this thing is so tiny, I want you folks to see it. And to be able to see it, my wife's not looking at it, it's coming up behind her. You can look at it on, oh, you are? Okay. <laughs> but see, it is super tiny. Super, super, super tiny. And it is perfect for flying around living rooms, 
flying through obstacles. Um, I do have mine set up. I set up the Expo on the throttle quite a bit to make it real sluggish for maintaining altitude. So it's not going to be super uh, acrobatic. But let's see if I can get some speed on it. Oh, yes, you can. <laughs> Take that back. <laughs> this can be possibly super acrobatic because I can get some speed on it. But it is a nice little flyer, a nice little indoor flyer. For those of you who want to try your hand at uh, indoor FPV, this is another great one. I actually like it. I like it a lot. Whoa, I flipped it. Hold on, folks. Let me go find it. <laughs> I'm going to pull my throttle up high, high enough at the end there. Flip it back up again. Hopefully that will take care of it. Coming back over by the light. And there's a wind picking up here, too. I hope that doesn't affect us too badly. But let's go back to the air. Neat, neat little quad for indoor FPV. Um, this actually might be a great competitor to Tiny Whoop, if not better than a Tiny Whoop, maybe. Because <laughs> you don't need to fiddle with this one to get it together. It comes already ready to go out of the box, you know, um, other than a uh, clean flight configuration on it. <laughs> I'm just going to buzz past us. See if I can go right between us. No, I ain't going to do that. <laughs> I don't want to hit somebody. <laughs> so, oh no, yeah. This is a great little micro FPV. Maker Fire's got something here. I just flew another one in just a, uh, 10 minutes ago, which is also a great little FPV fire. So, there are some real nice ones coming out. There were some real dogs in the past, but there are some nice ones now. I think that's about it though, folks. Uh, you know, it's got a little 200 milliamp hour battery. Let's see if I can fly past myself and land on the, oh, it's running out of power. Did I make it? No. no. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's it. Let me take that hat from you. Thank you, hon. So that's the Maker Fire uh, Micro FPV. Great, great little quadcopter, little micro uh, FPV flyer. If you are looking for one ready to go out of the box, you are going to need to configure it, though. Uh, this is it. You don't need to redesign it, in other words. Um, and it's not too hard to configure it. I'll include my configuration screens again uh, right now at the end of this uh, video to show you how the, I set it up for the DSM-2 uh, receiver version. So, hope you enjoyed this flight. This is Quadcopter 101, signing out.